Hi, my name is Hope Floberg, and I work in the IT Marketing and Training Department at NAU Country Insurance Company. Today, we're going to be training on basic quoting for the Enhanced Coverage Option, or ECO. To start off with, our ECO quoting is available in our Easy Quote system through EasyWriter Pro, and it's also available in our Disconnected Easy Quote version as well. For demonstration purposes, we're going to show you how to quote through our EasyWriter Pro system for today. To begin with, open EasyWriter Pro, and at the top of the agency dashboard, we'll select the Easy Quote link. Once Easy Quote opens, you can either quote for a prospect quote, or you can quote on an existing policy within our system. To quote on an existing policy within the system, you'll select the open folder on this page, which will then take you to a search screen and allow you to search for your policy. Today, we're going to show quoting on a prospect policy. To do so, I'm going to click the M for the MPCI folder. Once the quoting opens up, you'll be brought to the quote line attributes window. Here, we're going to fill in our quoting criteria and we'll begin by selecting our state. All of these values on the screen are set up to be forward typing. So in a situation where I'm selecting a different value, I can either use the drop down box or I can click on the field and type in the first letter of what I'm looking to add. So here I typed in a C, which brought me right to the corn and cucumbers section. I'm going to quote corn today, so I'll just select that and move on to the plan. Next, we'll choose one of our plans that are applicable for the ECO coverage. I'm going to then select a practice and a type. After I select my type, my level or coverage level field will automatically pre-fill in for me. It is always going to choose the highest coverage level available for the crop, county, and plan that you selected. If I choose to do something other than the highest coverage level, I can just click the drop down box and select any of the coverage level options that you would prefer. The next section is our endorsement section. Here is where you have the ability to enter in or add the SCO, which is the supplemental coverage option, or ECO, which is the enhanced coverage option, endorsements to your quote. I'm actually going to add both of them today just to demonstrate how they work. So first of all, we'll begin with SCO. Once I click the checkbox next to the SEO acronym, you'll see here that my SEO coverage percent box opens up and is editable. For SEO, I have the ability to enter in a coverage percent anywhere between 50% up to 100%. I'm going to leave in the default at 100%. I'm now going to select the ECO endorsement. Same situation as above, I can now edit the ECO coverage percent to anything between 50% and 100%. And also, the ECO area trigger level is now opened up for me to edit. ECO has two options available, which is the 90% area trigger level and the 95% area trigger level. I'm going to select the 95% for today. Next on our screen, we have the quote line information. This section has not changed, but this allows you to enter in your unit number, your unit structure, your share percent, your acres on the unit, and add any applicable options. I'm then going to scroll down on the page and go to the combo plan section. Here we have our area where we can select a risk or rate area. We also have the ability to enter in a price and price volatility factor. One important note here is that in our price and price volatility section, normally this will be grayed out after prices have been released to the system. For now, due to us doing this training a little early, the prices have not been locked into the system yet, so you do still have the capability to change them. 
Over on the right hand side, we have the approved yield and rate yield. On a prospect policy, this is going to pull from the county T yield. On an actual policy that we have within our system, it will automatically pull those yields right from the producer's policy unit. You can either key in the values here, or if you prefer to enter in your full 10-year APH data base and have the system pull the values for you, you can select the Use 10-Year APH box and fill in your 10-year APH information below. Once you've done so and you click Calculate, the approved yield and rate yield will automatically be populated in for you. For today, we are going to just key in the values that we'd like to see. So I'm going to key in 180 for both the approved and the rate yield. Once all of your quote line attribute information is keyed into the system, we're going to hit the Save button at the bottom of the screen. This is going to take us to either our full farm screen or our scenario screen, just depending on how you have your preferences set up under the Edit Preferences window. Mine are set up to go to the full farm screen, so we're going to discuss this window first, and then we'll go over to the scenario screen. On the full farm screen, we're going to get a nice overview of what is on the policy, also what our guarantee, coverage, and premium values are. So to start off with, this first line at the top of the screen is our base unit. So this is truly our revenue protection unit that we began keying in. If you recall, we chose a coverage level of 85%, which you can see is displayed here. We also have our approved and rate yields that we keyed in. And then over to the side, we can see our base price, our guarantee, our coverage. And then if I scroll over a bit, our gross premium and net premium. Now the next line on the screen here, if you can see under the plan section, is our SCO, our, our Supplemental Coverage Option line. This line is going to show us the levels of coverage that pick up where our base policy left off, so we're starting at an 85% coverage, up to the SCO level of 86%. Now, this line is slightly different because you'll notice over to the side here, we don't have our approved and rate yields displaying. And that's because both SCO and ECO are area endorsements. And so for area endorsements, instead we look at our expected or final yield and our expected or final revenue. So you can see that these values are populated right here. Our next line is going to be our ECO revenue protection plan type. So this is our enhanced coverage option line. Under level, you can see it picks off right where that SCO percentage stopped at 86%. And since we chose the 95% level, it's covering now the 86% to 95%. Over to the side, since it's an area endorsement, we're looking at the expected yield and expected revenue columns. Again, further to the right, we still have our coverage and premiums displayed. Now, when you come into the quoter, if you do not have these two values, the expected yield and the expected revenue values, you can easily add them to the screen if you'd like to view them. You can do so by highlighting any place on the grid and right-clicking on your mouse and then choosing Column Options. When you do that, your Preferences window is going to show and it's going to be on the MPCI Full Farm section. Here, you have your available columns displaying on the left-hand side, and you have your selected values on the right-hand side. Your selected values are displaying what's already currently displaying on your screen. So to add a new column, you'll just look at the available values and select your column and move it over to the selected values. I'm going to give you an example since I already have both of these fields added. I'm just going to give you an example on adjusted yield. So you'll grab, in your situation, you're going to look for expected yield and expected revenue. They're all in alphabetical order. You'll select that, and then you're going to use these arrows in the middle here to move that over to the selected values column. It's always going to, first of all, start off at the bottom of the window, or at the 
the last section in the grid. And what we want to do is we want to move that up so it's placed right by our expected revenue in this situation. Normally, you'd want to move it next to your approved yield and rate yield. So I'm going to highlight that. And I'm going to, again, use these arrows on the right-hand side. And I'm going to move it up. And I'm moving it right up to my expected revenue. So again, that's this column here. So it should come in right in this section here. I'm then going to click OK. When I do that, you can see here it's now been added. So that's how you can add these new columns if you'd like to see them. Once you've added columns to your grid, it will default that way anytime you log in it will display what you have selected in that column option window. So if at any point in time, you can go in and remove those values. So that's how it displays on the full farm screen. And again, it's going to give you kind of an overall uh, guarantee coverage and premium totals for your policy. Next, I want to show you how it's going to look in the scenario screen. So as you can see here, I have my SCO line highlighted. So here at the top of the screen, the scenario option is grayed out. All I need to do is click on my base unit line and I can now go into the scenario window. Once I'm in the scenario window, this gives me the opportunity to play with different what if situations on my policy. So I can look here at my different coverage and premium amounts at different coverage levels. I could also go in here and play and add a scenario where maybe I take the same situation, but I'm not quoting with SEO. And then I can hit save. And now that scenario is going to show up right next to this. You could also go in and add a scenario where perhaps you want to do a different SEO or ECO coverage percent. So again, it just gives you the ability to look at different types of policy scenarios to find out what's best for your insured. Now, all of these values are also displayed at the bottom of the screen, and the colors on the left-hand side correlate with the chart up above. Now, you can see here it starts off with all of my first scenarios in a row. If you'd like to see them compared side by side, you can just click on this top section here, and it'll make them so you can see them compared for each area side by side. Over on the right-hand side of the screen, you can see that the harvest price is still set at our base price because we're looking at the insurance cost right now. Next, the yield is portrayed at 180. If you recall, we keyed that in for our approved and our rate yields. And then our group number, which is displayed here at 167, is actually our expected yield for our area. You can also choose to view different levels while you're on this window. So I can add or remove levels to look at the different values. This information can be printed by going up to reports and choosing screen quote. Another area that you can focus on in the scenario screen is what if indemnity situations. So in this situation, I could also come over to my graph type and I can choose insurance indemnity. When I do that, I can then come in and play with different scenarios as to what my indemnity totals could be if a specific harvest price came in or if my final yield came in at a certain value. So let's play with that for just a moment. So for my harvest price, let's just say the harvest price comes in at 550. I'm going to leave my base yield or my approved and rate yields the same for now, but I'm going to come in and I am going to change my expected yield. And I'm going to change that to 130. Now, once I've done that, you can see here that I have different indemnity values now listed on the screen. So if I chose an 85% coverage level and the harvest price came in at 550, and the final yield came in at 130, you can see here I would not have a base indemnity 
come through, but I would have an SCO indemnity in the amount of $9.90 come through and an ECO indemnity in the amount of $89.10, which brings us to $99. Now over on this area or this different scenario here, if I did not have the SCO coverage, you can see here that just the ECO coverage would pay out at the $89.10. So again, just another area where you can play with different what-if scenarios on both a coverage perspective and on an indemnity perspective. Now we have a whole bunch of new items coming for the enhanced coverage option that will soon be showing in our historical window as well. And those should be available here shortly. But for today, we hope you enjoy our basic quoting that's currently available on ECO. And if you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to your NAU country marketing representative. Thank you and have a great day.